Hello and welcome to Microsoft Power Automate Tutorials. Today we will learn how to identify the long ways of the text by using AI Builder with long ways detection pre-built model. Let me show you a small example over here. If you see in our real-time scenario, we'll get an email with the different long ways. Like for the customer support, if you are going to get the mail from the different countries, they are going to send the mail on their country-specific long ways to the customer support, right? We need to detect that long ways in which long way they have sent the mail, and then we need to store the text along with the long ways which we have detected by using long ways detection model, which is available in AI Builder. And then finally, we'll show the output. This is our small use case over here. Now, if you see over here in my AI builder, I'm having the long way detection, which is the pre-built model available already. Now, if you see over here, long way detection, it identifies the long ways which is being used in the text. Let me tell you one thing. We are right now in this session, we are going to use only long way detection model. Now, let me click on long way detection. If you see, this is already pre-built model, which is available in the AI builder. So we can directly use this in our flows. Let me click on use in flow. It will provide you a sample template over here. You can see over here, root emails as per the language detected by the AI builder on new email, right? So as we said, the scenario that we are going, whenever the new mail arrives, okay, we are going to detect the long ways by using AI builder, right? I don't use this template. I will show you in some other way. Let me create a flow over here by clicking on create. And I'm going to select automated cloud flow over here. And I'm going to give the name as long ways detection flow. Now I'm going to select the trigger email. Okay, now if you see over here, when a new email arrives, in that case, I'm going to detect the long ways by using AI Builder. I'm going to select that and then I'm going to click on create. Now, if you see over here, a new email arrives is the input for my AI builder, right? If you see advanced, I'm going to use the label as inbox. In the inbox, what are the mail that I have going to receive? That mail, I'm going to take it as the input to my long way detection model, all right? Here, and I'm not going to give any kind of properties. I'm not going to set it. Now, let me click on new step to use my long way detection model which is available in AI Builder, right? You can see when I'm going to use AI Builder, you will find over here, detect the long way being used in the text. I'm going to select that. Now, if you see over here, what is the text we are going to take it? What are the body that we are going to have in the new email, that body I'm going to considering as a input over here. So I'm going to take it as the body. And what I will do, what are the body that I have given, I will, uh, I will detect the long ways and then I will store in the output as Excel. Now, if you see on my screen, I'm having an Excel with the workbook long ways. Inside that, I'm having a table with columns, body or text and long ways columns. So whenever I'm going to get the output from the detect long ways being used, so I'm going to identify the long ways by using this model and then the body along with the body, I'm going to store inside the Excel. That is my agenda over here. Now I'm going to click on new step. Now I'm going to select Excel online. So whenever a new mail arrives, I'm going to add a row into the table. I'm going to select that action. Long with on document library, I'm going to select it as one drive. Now what is the file? The file, if you see in the workbook that I'm going to select as long ways, right? Let me select that. And the table, if, if you select the table over here, I'm having table one. Whenever you are going to select table one, you will get the options over here. That this is related to the columns, right? What is the body or text that what we have? What is the output that we have from the email that I'm going to select it? That is the body and the long ways, right? This is the long way which we got the output from the detect the long ways being used in text. That is the from the long ways detection model, all right? If you see over here, I am having the same thing over here, detect the long ways used in text, right? I'm going to select that long ways, all right? If you see over here, what it will do, it will, what are the results that we got it? It will go through the loop and then it will save the data inside the Excel. Now, before running this flow, 
I'm going to make a small change over here. I'm not going to take the body over here. I'm going to select the subject uh, as text, okay? And then in the same way, while I'm going to insert the data inside the Excel also, I'm going to select the subject only. Now, let me save the flow. And if you see over here, I don't have any data inside my Excel. Let me start testing this flow for the long wave detection. And the test flow, it is manually, I'm going to select it, save and test. Now what I'm going to do to detect this long ways, I'm going to send a new mail from my mobile itself. I'm going to send it in different long ways as French, another one Japanese, we are going to send in Arabic. Arabic. These are the three languages that I have selected and then I have sent a mail to the particular Gmail which we have taken as the input. Alright, now my flow is started running and you can see over here, in over here you can see the inputs one by one. As body text, I have given the name over here. Uh, you can see over here, that is French. Now if you see over here, what are the three languages? French, Arabic, Japanese. These three languages I have given the in the email as subject, like different languages I have given, so that it has been identified by using long wave detection model as part of the AI builder. And then it has given the particular languages. What are the languages we have given? It has been identified and it has given the output over here. All right. Thank you for watching Power Automate tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a wonderful day.